You want to say something to Winthrop? This is the Minister of Justice, one of the finest attorneys that has ever roamed the earth. I'm super delighted that the store is coming to Nick. Yes, I mean, there is a building boom going on, no doubt about it. But we've got to fix the roads. In the grill alone, we contribute so much to the national revenues. And very little money is being spent to maintain the roads, the sidewalks, the byways. The government should take a serious look at the beauty of the West and spend some money in enhancing the product. We're a forgotten entity when it comes to investing money into improving the infrastructure and the appearance of the place. Everyone and welcome to this exclusive tour of Jamaica's newest supermarket here in the grill at Sunshine Village Plaza and we are at the country store fresh market and for those who are new to the channel and your first time visiting my name is Winthrop Wellington and here I help you invest and move to Jamaica and today we are getting an exclusive tour with Mr. Lee Essa who recently acquired this property and he's going to be showing us around this new supermarket that is slated to open in just a few days and then he's also going to give us a tour of the plaza itself. This would be a great one talking about investment in the grill, investment in Jamaica. And Mr. Issa is definitely like a huge patriot. And it's just awesome that he took over this plaza that at one point we thought was going to be, and when I say we, the new grill community, was going to turn into basically a dilapidated property, you know, because it used to be the NCB and the Hilo was here, but they've moved to a new plaza up the road. But thankfully he took it over and he's doing amazing things. This place is absolutely beautiful. I hope you all enjoy. Hope you guys join us. See you over there. Good to see you again. Good to be here. Yeah, well, this is the LFA Country Store, Fresh Market opening up on the 26th of January. And I hope you're gonna come by and see us on that day. It's gonna be a soft opening. The official opening is on February 9th. We're gonna have a live broadcast, but we're gonna be open to the public next uh, Friday. And uh, this is gonna be our fruit and vegetable area. We're gonna have fresh fruits, all Jamaican fruits and veggies. We're gonna have uh, ground provisions. We're gonna have yam and sweet potato and Irish potato, you name it. This lady is from uh, one of the big wine distributors, yes. select brands. How, how are things going? Are we going to be ready for next Friday? More than ready. As you can see, we are already ready. I'm trying to put everything together by prices and the right job. Caps up, go on together, Merlot, and Cabernet Sauvignon. So I'm trying to line up everything. So we'll be ready by 26. Awesome. This is one of our floor managers. Floor supervisor. So what you can see, I'm in charge of the surface. Everything is kept clean, nice room and everything. So uh, we're packing out now. Hi. Oh, hi. How are you? Boy, every time I see you look younger. <laughs> Good. You want to say something to Winthrop? I am absolutely this is delighted. This is the Minister of Justice <laughs> in, the, in the Jamaica Labour Party government. And she's uh, one of the finest attorneys that has ever roamed the earth so big up the woman of jamaica yeah. well i'm super delighted that the store is coming to me yes great wonderful good i know you do good things yes but we're trying you know we're trying go so look around but we're not 100 percent ready but we're about 70 percent there a lot of jamaica uh, beverage alcoholic beverage that we're very proud of then we have all these uh, imported wines. I mean, it goes on and on and on. If you can't find a bottle of wine here that suits your palate, something is wrong. This is gonna be our fresh chill chiller where, where you have your arugula, your romaine, your cut fruit. And over here, this is gonna be the dairy section. Each aisle is clearly marked. One of Jamaica's great products is our Jamaica Blue Mountain Coffee. Now, this is one product that we're very, very proud of and it's exported all over the world and so on and so forth premium wines again got all the good ronzoni pastas one of the things that we really are going to be very happy and proud of is our butcher shop we're going to be selling uh, fresh cuts of meat setting it up now we're going to have mince meats 
Here is our pet section with all different types of cat food and dog food. And over here, you got your bacons, Jamaica jerk bacon, to name a few. And then over there, your fresh juices and drinks, haagen ice cream, you name it, we're gonna have it all. And here's your spices. We're getting there. We're about 70% there, and uh, hopefully we'll be ready by next Friday. And I think we're gonna make it. So we hope to see you there. And so, um, I guess to start with, uh, I'll tell you when NCB left here, and then after that, Hilo left here, I can tell you the community was worried that this place would turn into a ghetto, a ghetto, an eyesore. And I could tell you when people heard that you had taken over the operations of this, everybody, it was a big relief. And so uh, my question to you is, what was your motivation behind purchasing this property? The supermarket I hear was for sale by the pension fund, which it was owned by uh, Grace Kennedy's pension fund. And I thought it would have been a good investment. I was thinking about opening up a, a clothing store here. Oh, wow. You know? And so I said, you know, Negril is in its infancy. It's just starting to become uh, uh, more than just a fishing village. And I thought a nice clothing store uh, would have been a good addition. Uh, that was the motivation. And then I said, you know, at my age, I don't know if I really want to get back into retail because it's so detailed, you know? Anyway, uh, what happened was I said, well, you know, I, I could rent it as a supermarket. And I could call every other supermarket operator in Jamaica and said, I'd like to rent you the space. You know, you fix it up. I give you a, a decent rental and bring, but because I thought that we needed a nice supermarket with the tremendous amount of parking that we have out there, which is over 175 cars, that we needed the supermarket as the anchor store to bring people to the plaza. So um, when that didn't work out, I said, well, you know, I'm stuck. So let me do it myself because I tried one in uh, Richmond, St. Anne's. We have the, the LFA country store yeah. and it's doing quite well. So I went ahead and I designed it and I built it and now we're ready to open it. And it, it's been a very exciting uh, trip, a very exciting time. So I'm having a lot of fun, you know, doing it. Awesome. Well, I can tell you like it, the, the plaza looks great. The store looks great. I really appreciate you taking the time to, to show me around. And one thing that stuck out to me when you were giving me the tour, the first thing you told me was that as you're entering, the first thing you see is all Jamaican products. Why was that important for you to make sure that that was the case? Jamaica is producing a lot of food items and I believe we need to promote the best of what Jamaica has to offer from Red Stripe Beer to Grace products, uh, which have gone international. And I, I have a lot of pride in that. And so that's going to be the coffee, Jamaican coffee, Jamaican cocoa, and, and, and the uh, other great Jamaican products that are out there. Uh, so our Jamaican bacon, our Jamaican uh, chicken. We have the best chicken in, in the better chicken. They say that the KFC that buys Jamaican chicken is the best KFC chicken, better than KFC in the US. I don't know if you've heard that. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. So, you know, as a, as a country and as a people, whatever we do, we do it well. Yes. And uh, we have international acclaim and people love us for that. So, but, so I, when I bought this and, I, and, I, and it started to materialize, I said, well, I bought the food court and I'm bringing scotches. I'm bringing scotches to, to, to this, uh, this uh, village. So we're gonna have a scotch, which is the best uh, Jamaica jerk chicken and jerk pork you can get. And he also does a great chicken jerk sausage and a pork jerk sausage. So we're gonna have that as well, plus side dishes like sweet potato and rice and peas and things like that. I'm also bringing a Chester's, which is a, a good brand and they make a very good 
fried chicken. Uh, putting in a pizzeria up there, as well as a, a coffee shop and a wine bar. And the coffee shop will have wraps and salads and soups, as well as all different types of coffee drinks. So it's going to be a very nice setting. We, we could take a walk up there after so I could show you the fantastic view of Long Bay. Yeah, yeah. So it's going to be a nice meeting place for people to come and spend an afternoon. You know, sip a nice glass of wine or, or have a nice uh, cappuccino with the great Jamaica Blue Mountain coffee. Yeah, so I'm excited about it. And then I'm opening up, you know, my when I, when I came back from university, way back when, in 1964, I, I went into the retail clothing business. So I'm going to have a clothing store. I still have the store in Kingston called Lee's Fifth Avenue. I'm going to have a clothing store and a shoe store, but I'm changing the brand. It's going to be Kicks Clothing and Kicks Shoes. So we're going to have two of those there. And I hope that what, what I'm doing will be a catalyst for other private store owners because this thing was started by NCB when they decided to get out of the, 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 this, uh, this edifice, which is, you know, has great guts. You know, uh, it was run down. It was bad. It wasn't maintained. It wasn't, it wasn't properly uh, looked after. But you know, uh, the, the bones of this, uh, this Sunshine Village, it, it architecturally, it, it has a lot of redeeming uh, charm and quality and this is what we've been doing in fixing it up and enhancing it so it's starting to come back to life and when we're through with it I think it's going to be one of the most attractive buildings in Jamaica so we're very excited about that and I just hope the people who own their own stores are going to really open up some nice stuff here so that we have a nice mix of of, of, of shops for, for, the, for the visitors. Also, you know that there are about 38 studio apartments upstairs, and those are privately owned. So people are fixing them up. A lot of them are putting them on Airbnb, and that's going to be very nice when it's all completely renovated. So uh, it's, it's going to be a, 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 not an eyesore anymore. It's going to be a, a, a very attractive uh, project at the end of the day. Well, I'm not alone in thinking that this plaza is, is going to be a game changer. You can kind of feel it. And with, you said something before about Negril, you felt Negril is in its infantile stages and that this is the beginning. And I think personally that products and endeavors of this nature really pay homage to, to that school of thought, that ideology, that confidence in the direction that Negril is going in. And so with that, and then in addition to that, there's also a lot of other investments coming in, some different sizes coming into Negril. And you've been in Negril for, for quite, quite some time. Have you seen this type of investment come in before, at least this momentum that we're currently seeing and currently feeling? Well, you know, J Jamaica is a brand and it's just gaining more and more popularity and uh, kudos to the, the Jamaica Tourist Board and the Tourism Ministry for doing such a great job in promoting it. But we've got to not forget about the infrastructure uh, and infrastructure should always precede development. And that's where I think we're lacking and I'm concerned that it, it could backfire on us. So the government needs to get on the ball and start putting in the roads and the water supplies and the electricity supplies that are going to be able to adequately serve all the various uh, needs that we're going to have with all these additional hotel rooms and, and, and developments that are coming in the west and in the east and all over the island. I mean, there is a building boom going on, no doubt about it. But we've got to fix the roads. In the grill alone, we contribute so much to the national uh, revenues. And, and very little money is being spent to maintain the roads and sidewalks, the byways. The government should take a, a, a serious look at, at, at the beauty of the West and, and, and spend some money in enhancing the product. But I'm optimistic that things will get done. Just a little slower than we would like. Yeah. But I think that the government will come to their senses and realize 
how important uh, this area of Jamaica is. Not only here, but uh, you know, Portland and St. Thomas, a lot, lot of nice beaches over that side. So, you know, Jamaica is on a roll right now, and it's only going to get, it's only going to get better. Yeah. We just have to be ready. That's right. That's with our with our with our infrastructure. And where do you see Negril based on the trajectory that we're on now? Where do you see Negril in within the next five years? Well, I think. You know, you know about the Princess Hotel. Yes. Well, that that is now going to be considered part of the grill. Yeah. Because it's right there in Green Island. I just think it's 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 going to become more of a no longer the sleepy fishing village for people who want to come and just hang out uh, on a, on a beach where there's nobody. It's going to become a major tourist destination. What we have to make sure of is that we stick to the four stories. We don't allow any high rise in the, the immediate vicinity of what was originally in the grill, that we don't allow anything over four stories, and that we keep the roads and the services and the infrastructure, proper sewage, proper water, proper clearance of garbage and all of that sort of stuff. We're going to have to stay on top of that. That's all. I mean, and, and then we have the fruit and vegetable market that we've been promised to build for so long for the for our market people, so that we can show off the best of what Jamaica produces. That has to be built. You know, it's on, it's been on the on the drawing board now for years. They need to make it happen. And then the town center. You need a nice town center, and they have the land right there as you come in. You know where the yeah. where it is. That needs to be developed with a boardwalk and. People can go and restaurants and shops and, you know, a nice municipal area. We need we need we need city status. We need we need to have our own sort of management committee to manage this little township called Negril. I don't know if you're aware. In a recent speech, the prime minister gave on Port Moore becoming its own parish. He actually brought up Negril as the next place to, of consideration to become uh, to become its own parish. And I actually have it here. I can just. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, it, 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 I just read it this morning. So the quote is, there's another, this is from the prime minister. There is another area where its own administrative personality is emerging and which we will have to consider some change to how their affairs are administered. And that is Negril. You will understand that the town of Negril has grown. It has grown out of Westmoreland into Hanover, and it is now creating a problem as to which municipality has charge over its development, the prime minister said. That's true. Uh, we, we're sort of partially in, in Westmoreland and we're partially in Hanover. I think it would be a great idea because right now we're caught between the devil and the deep blue sea. And, 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 and we're, we're, a, we're a forgotten entity when it comes to investing money into improving the infrastructure and the appearance of the place. And, and I think that it's a short-sightedness on the part of the government. So, but you know, the problem I have, not only in Jamaica, but I'm sure it's a problem all over the world. Governments move too slow. Mm -hmm. yeah. Governments move too slow. The sooner the better. Yeah. yeah, I'm in favor of that. I think the prime minister is dead on with that recommendation. Oh. So this is going to be my first store that I'm working on. This one will open first. This is going to be a, this is going to be a, a, a shop for men and women. I'm going to sell suits. I'm going to sell dress shirts. I'm going to sell nice pies, neckties, nice things for ladies. So this is going to open around the end of February. So we're just doing the infrastructure. This whole floor was sinking, you know. The amount of work we had to do to level it. So it's the, the guts are ready it's just now to put in the lighting and, and the fixtures. You guys are coming from school? You go to the school. <laughs> so hey, this. <laughs> okay, all right, tone it down.
See, we have to look after the, they have to look after the youth, man. They are the future. Make sure they get a good education, give them job opportunities. And I think that, uh, I think we have a great nation. Can you beat this view? There's scotches. And next to scotches is going to be uh, Chester's Fried Chicken, state-of-the-art kitchen, best jerk in the West. And this is our famous wine bar. Are you going to be the wine steward? So, you know, they come up in the afternoon after a busy day at the office. We're going to have a nice selection of wine. This whole fixture was built by a young man by the name of Paul, who lives up in Red Ground. I'll show you we have a lot of talent in Jamaica. This is our local cedar that we use to build it. And he built it, we gave him the design and he built it. So this is gonna be a nice little area where we're gonna have a wine bar. Tables and chairs, all are in here. On a rainy day, we have a roll down awning so that you won't get wet. You can come out here with your red stripe or your glass of wine. Put your wine glass here, your beer glass here, have a drink and look out at uh, beautiful Long Bay. It doesn't get much nicer than this, does it, Twin Rob? This is gonna be the pizza parlor. We have, a, it's the secretary actually of the Chamber of Commerce. She's going to be uh, renting this spot and she's putting it uh, a very nice pizza parlor and I've tasted her pizza and it's excellent. And this store here, this is gonna be a coffee bar with uh, wraps and sandwiches. We're gonna have all types of coffee. Cappuccino, espresso, you name it, we're gonna have it. Plus soups and sandwiches and wraps. So we have a nice blend. We have the chicken with the side dishes, fried and jerk, jerk pork. We're gonna have pizzas and calzones. What is it called, calzones? And then we're gonna have the coffee house here and the wine bar over there. We're gonna have, see we're gonna have, we're putting in the speakers now, we're gonna have nice music up here we can go down here we have three staircases we have the main staircase there which is a little and then we have this staircase and we have that staircase so we have three staircases to get up to the food court let's go in here this is gonna, i'm going to be promoting a vineyard town ice cream there are six flavors here i'm going to be selling it in the supermarket it's non area in the you know what they use for the base Coconut milk. Oh wow! Perfect. And it's really good stuff. As a matter of fact, we sell it over by the kitty park. Now, this is something that I experimented with, and it's doing okay. Not making any money, but uh, more and more people are gravitating towards electric, all electric, where you just charge it and go. We just sold the last two pedal assist bigger bikes. But we have this size here, which some adults use, but it's mostly for young people. Look at, we have that. That would be great. It goes 80 kilometers. No, the range is 95 to 100 kilometers. 90 kilometers an hour. And you, you know, this is great for a delivery guy. You just charge it and go. It hasn't really caught on in the third world yet. But you know, in Asia, it's big, big, big electric car. Uh, yeah pedal assist bikes and scooters. So this is another attraction we have here. And we might start a rent-a-bike business. But look at this parking area. More cars than you can think of. You saw the sign, it lights up at night. See my delivery van, free delivery. Did I tell you about it? No. Free delivery anywhere from uh, Little London all the way back to Green Island. We deliver free. Uh, we're gonna have an online store, but that's not ready yet. But if you know what you want, you call up, place your order and we ship it out to you. It has to be a minimum of $5,000. Amazing. Well, that's it in a nutshell. Thanks for coming. Uh, I'm having fun. It looks like it. Looks like I'm this having is fun. So amazing! It's a, it's a 
this one. I wish you all the luck in the world. I know it's going to do well. And, you know, thank yeah, you. I think the community and uh, the visitors, I think, will support it. You know, we're close to where a lot of people are vacation and a lot of people live. And uh, it's very centrally located, you know? Right as you turn around past the corner bar, it's right here, Sunshine uh, Village. All right, I hope everybody enjoyed that. Thank you so much to Mr. Essa for taking the time out to hang with us and show us this exclusive tour. Of course, wishing him all the luck in the world with his new venture. He's obviously having a lot of fun doing this. Hope you all enjoy this. If you want to see more of this, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like this video because it helps out with the algorithm and letting other people know who need this value that this sort of content does exist. Anyway, hope you all have a great one. See you in the next one. Peace.